and you know how much I love the Nintendo Switch! Switch fam, it is your boy QKG, and today I gotta give you guys a quick video here. This is just gonna be more of the truth or just my experience with the Outer Worlds for the Nintendo Switch because this port coming over, and I'm somebody that actually waited for the game. I actually skipped out on getting the PC version because I wanted to play it on the go and actually experience it in a different way. So I definitely held off, and I'm gonna do possibly a detailed review if you guys really want to hear that, or it may be how the game impacted me or you know made an impact on me in general. So when you first load into the game i will say that when i first was greeted with that cutscene, i was pretty impressed i was like okay the visuals definitely look pretty decent they're not as muddy as i thought they could have been and even the character customization was pretty fun it gave me some decent options i even got my dreads so your boy was happy with the character customization but um in a, in a different case to actually compare it i would say it's gonna be your downgrades that you're used to seeing like for an example how the hair is in most ports like how mortal kombat 11 is if you play um arnold schwarzenegger's character how his hair looks really low resolution like it really doesn't have any like uh shading or anything no shadows to it at all it looks pretty like gonna say like not painted on a way it just looks odd so i will say it has that level of downgrade to it but when it comes down to what the weapons look like and how they perform i will say when it's a smooth 30 fps the experience feels great and it feels like i'm playing this this weird mix of fallout mixed in with maybe like a little mass effect when it comes down to just talking i don't know it just gives me those weird kind of vibes but the thing is it is hit or miss when it comes down to these hiccups so low key when you first start in like maybe a bigger area if it has more to load you're going to start to get maybe that little small rubber band effect and it starts to lag a little bit and it causes you to miss a few bullets here and there but it starts to even itself out once you kind of get the i guess get warmed up to it but it definitely is something that could definitely be patched out and definitely something i would like to see hopefully if it can get changed i would definitely love to see some improvements because it's not any big big major frame dips it's just very very inconsistent you'll get some weird rubber banding not to say that it's like really hindering my gaming experience but at the same time it's something that i definitely notice a lot and especially for players that want a much smoother experience it definitely might make them a little upset so for that hopefully some more work can be done and just ironing out some of the bugs and some of those hiccups here and there just to make it a little bit more of a smoother experience when it comes down to the full game it's definitely definitely all there definitely feel the level of depth when it comes down to the characters and definitely when it comes down to the weapons they're very enjoyable and the missions so far have been pretty good man just I literally messed up on a decision and I felt so bad for doing it but the game gives you so many options there was a way I can actually make it up to the people um, at the botanical gardens down there so, um, but for the most part when it comes down to the game's experience capturing it on the Nintendo switch it does a it does a decent job I will say that of course with everything with the COVID situation they even came out and had statements of why they had to push the game back so it definitely looks like the game definitely went and try something really ambitious because i know the outer world is not a small game whatsoever it's just possibly may need a little bit more love here and there just to give it that overall super super smooth experience but with a big open world game like that i'm gonna notice some texture pop-ups or it might need to load in certain areas here and there but as far as handling my gaming experience and like maybe you know making it seem like it's the worst port out there it's definitely not the worst port it's definitely not a wwe 2k 18 situation it's not like that at all so i would definitely have to say while it has its frame hiccups i will say it definitely needs a lot more love just to patch out some of those issues now overall i must say um just for these little sections i just have to recommend this as a port i'm actually going to talk about the game more in depth because i'm not gonna lie playing the first section of this game it really hooked me it's definitely one of those games that i'm going to be playing so if you guys want to hear a more in-depth um breakdown on how the game impact, uh, impacted me because there's certain games that do that like kingdom hearts for example but don't even get me started talking about that game literally i ain't even gonna get into all that but there are certain games out there that just hook you and just make you want to just play it nonstop. All right, so on the QKG scale today, we're actually going to review this game as a port at the moment right now, just because I'm, a, I'm just being 100 honest with you guys. I am digging this game something crazy. I've been having a blast with it, and I kind of feel bad because I low-key would like to see it on PC because it would look definitely way better, but playing it on Switch so far has been a pretty decent experience for me. So just reviewing this as a port, I'm definitely going to be honest with you guys. 
Does it have its frame dips? Of course. It was definitely not noticeable. You're probably going to see some of it in the gameplay here. But was it a unplayable, horrible, disgusting port? Not at all. It definitely needs a little bit more polish work. I would definitely say that. But as far as capturing the experience, visuals definitely are not an eyesore. Um, and overall, it's just a fun experience. So I would definitely have to say this game is decent. And it needs work, just because it needs a little bit more love when I said uh, patching out some of those issues. But overall, it's a definitely a decent pickup. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this review. So if you guys have not switched over to my Discord, definitely switch over to my Discord link. I'm going to leave it in the description down below. Just because all we do is talk about games, and we just have a good time, man. That's all we do. So if you like doing that, go ahead and switch over to the Discord, and you can chop it up with your boy there. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in. This is your boy QKG, and peace out.